Wow, I saw the movie. Congratulations. Thanks. Saw it last night. So good. Saying to are you really that competitive naturally? Because <laughs> Mike, I believe, if you called her a beast, did you dare call Zendaya a competitive a beast? beast? Yeah, why not? Sure. <laughs> I don't remember that, but yeah, I'm sure I probably you did. did. <laughs> Would you call yourself a beast, Sunday? Um, I don't know. I don't think I. I don't think I. I mean, in, I don't know. Maybe sometimes, maybe I don't know. I, I don't. I don't know if that's the word that I would think of when I think of myself. Um, but I do think that uh, my character, for sure. I think she has a level of of brutality almost to her. Um, that and, and an intensity and like this this fiery passion almost um, for for tennis um, that is is scary yeah. <laughs> at times. No, but I, I I think to to kind of try to answer what you're saying, you know, my my character is is she's different from me in, in many ways, and I think that was the fun of 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 choosing a character like this. I think there because of her forwardness and her almost cruelty. Um, how do I make sure that she's still human? How do I make sure that she's still tender and soft? And we, we see all the parts of her that aren't just um, cold, per se, you know? And I think that was, uh, you know, me figuring that out, but also the help of Luca and Justin and, you know, this creative kind of team of people. And, um, and also, like, we had a, a rehearsal time to, to actually, like, talk about these characters and, like, figure out what's going on in their head and learn how to play tennis. Josh, how was the how was the training? Just how many hours of training were you doing a day playing tennis and working out? So I know it was pretty intense. Yeah, <laughs> we were doing, what do you, I mean, I, I feel like, was it an hour and a half tennis, hour and a half? Working out? Gym work? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Character was, work. But we did that for six weeks every day. So, um, so even if you're like me and avoiding exercise, it was inevitable <laughs> that I would look reasonably good. Um, There's but, no getting out of it. No, well, there was a way. Actually, I, found, <laughs> oh. I found a way, which was that we, our a will. lovely trainer, Brian Dew, who would kind of spend some time with the, the three of us together, and then sometimes he'd spend some time with you, and then he'd go off to Mike, and that was my time to just have a little rest. <laughs> so you're a little bit so sneaky. I was sneaky, yeah, but I back myself on it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was great. I was delighted. <laughs> <laughs> I do it all again. Um, I don't he was amazing. A I don't moment. regret it at all. Um, yeah. yeah, so we had to train quite hard, but uh, it was worth it. And it was really important for the you know, for us three to spend yes. some time together and yeah. we were all in it together and I will say like early days. You know, I think we've talked a lot about like imposter syndrome and sewing up and, and feeling quite nervous to go to work. And like, I know for me, like when we were learning tennis that first day and like being on court side by side and I was like, like, I don't know, like, I don't know how good they are. Like, I don't yeah. know what the vibes are. I don't know if they're going to be like competitive. I don't know if they're going to look at me like, oh my God, she sucks. Um, so those early, I was really trying to fake it till I make it. Like yeah. I was really trying to, Why and then once, you know, so we all got comfortable and we all realized that we were all terrified and we all didn't know what we were doing. Then I was like, I could let it go a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Well, you did, a, well, did an amazing job, really Thanks. did. So everybody's talking about the racy scene, the threesome scene, obviously. Just there was an intimate coordinator on set, right, Mike? Yes. Did did that help? Did it like ease? There was there a lot of goofing around in between. How did it work? Well, uh, as Josh said, you know, we had six weeks of rehearsal prior to actually showing up on set, um, where we were in this tennis training. We were in working out. We were doing script work with Justin and Luca and doing scene work. Um, so we had uh, a month and some change to actually just get to know each other as co-workers, uh, which developed a kind of rapport and familiarity that made us all feel very comfortable with each other. And then on top of that, having this kind of um, in-between person to just kind of navigate, you know, the sensitivities and ensure that everybody just feels safe with what they're doing it, it allowed everybody listen here's the thing as like an actor it's like the most embarrassing thing that you could <laughs> possibly do and because your job is to like fully believe that what you are doing is real 
and you're like wearing a wig and you're dressed. You know what I mean? Like I love that you said. You, we were talking the other day about how like people see our side, but they don't realize that the other side is like a crew of people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. we're not alone in that yeah, room. Like, like hundred people. There's a camera you. like coming in. Like this. and that's <laughs> like with everything. You know what I mean? Like I mean that you're we're t we're talking Stay in specifically. It. Stay yeah. in it. We're talking specifically about this like. Um, sensual scene, but that's like acting in general. Mm. You know, you are in a ridiculous situation in reality, <laughs> and you have to like trick yourself mentally and have this kind of mental fortitude to be so committed and dedicated to what you're doing that you actually want to try to believe it. Like, that's the goal, that's what you're trying to do. And in order to put yourself into such a vulnerable position, you have to feel comfortable and safe enough to allow yourself to be ridiculous. Like, mm. acting is a foolish profession. <laughs> if you are good at this, you will be a fool. And you want to put yourself into being a fool, right? So, like, you... But in order to do that, you have to feel comfortable enough to allow yourself yeah. to be in that ridiculous position. Did and so it just like helped that. that. I feel like that all the time. All the time. And I think that's what, like I said, to the, a testament to, like... Um, I think these, the people that I'm next to, like being good people and feeling safe with them as, as human beings, as fellow actors that I feel like have my back mm. in these scenes and outside. And so when you have that, again, like he's saying, then like, okay, we both look foolish or we both feel foolish and like, all right, let's do who it. Who cares? Then. You yeah. know, who cares? Like, who cares? Exactly. And I think that that's it's what we're here to do. Exactly. And that safety is, is really, really important. So the fashion, again, every time I see you, we have to talk about the fashion. <laughs> this global tour, press tour, you've been killing it. Every look on the carpet has been amazing. Are you ready to just go home now and <laughs> slip into your PJs and put some good reality TV or rom-com on? <laughs> I mean, I do do that in between all of this. I think, um, I think this is like partially like another character that I get to present and, and play with and um, and hide behind often. I think they've, you know, they've been on set with me. They've seen the other, <laughs> the other side. It's not this all the time. Um, but I think that's the, the good part. It's the duality. It's being able to, um, you know, go home and chill. And, you know, I got my, my slippers on, you know, just there. It's, it's, it's not all the character all the time, but fashion does help, I think, you know, with confidence and, um, I don't know, feeling the foolish thing, it helps like buy, buy into the fantasy a little yeah. bit. <laughs> Love it. Thank you so much. Thank Congratulations you. to all of you, so good. So um, well, you had me fooled. I was like, these guys are professionals. <laughs> you know, oh Thank, you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Of course.